Many are still fuming over the Christmas weekend power outages that plunged hundreds of thousands in North Carolina into the cold and dark. Today, we're getting a better idea of how Duke Energy decided who lost power. WRL's Cullen Browder joins us live in Raleigh. And Cullen, you spoke with Duke Energy. What did they tell you? And Cullen tells us that Duke Energy says suddenly starting those rolling blackouts on Christmas Eve had many asking why me was my home or business targeted to lose power. Well, although the widespread extreme cold was forecast well in advance, Duke acknowledges it was caught off guard. Some generators failed. Power was unavailable from nearby states with similar weather. In order to preserve, preserve the power grid, the utility company had to reduce demand with rolling blackouts. And if you were a part of that, Duke spokesman Bill Norton says you were not targeted. It's a computerized system, it's automated. The system detects where there's a challenge and brings down power there. So it's it's really automated. We can't say, you know, yeah, keep that neighborhood online, but not this one. It, it doesn't work that way. It's an automated process. A lingering question is how was the computer programmed? We've requested a map to show which customers lost power and for how long. It's expected this will come up at Tuesday's Utilities Commission meeting. We also know the commission is investigating generator outages at plants in Roxborough and Marshall. And they're asking about reported generator failures at the Dan River and the Mayo plants.